Yeah. Mhm. Mm I'm after Ding dong. <laughs> so I started this project with removing the bark from this log and when I was done I put it aside and started building the actual bed. If you are only interested in how I got the log attached to the bed, you can skip to somewhere between minute 11 and 12. So my plan is to build each side separately and these things are the posts I just cut and the boards will fit in the notch I still have to cut in the corner of these posts. So I started connecting the pieces with this hardware stuff but I realized I don't have enough of these. So for the rest I'm just going to use some long screws. And now I need some supports for the slatted frame. For the slatted frame I'm going to use this still rough lumber which has been the roof of an old garden shed previously. To get this a little more into shape I'm going to revive my old drum sander and see if it still works.
this leaded frame removable. I'm stapling this rope stuff to each board and in the end I'm going to drill a hole in each corner through the boards and into the support where the sledded frame is resting on uh, and put a dowel in there that it can't move around much if that makes any sense. Oh! Are you able to keep your shop clean while doing a project? I'm definitely not. This side is where the steps will go, something like this. These steps are just attached with the screws from the back. I'm so annoyed by myself, but that won't stop me from not cleaning up. <laughs> well, I do. The mattress will go to about this height, so there's a little space, but not enough that she will be able to fall out of here. By sending these right now, I already filled these small gaps with some wood dust. I will attach the trim from this side with a few brad nails and then turn it around and get some screws in there. The screws pulled all the joints a little tighter and now it looks even better. The maximum depth of cut of my router is unfortunately not deep enough, so I don't know, maybe two or three passes, we'll see. Let the salmon begin. Oh.
I was thinking that I'm that I could take all these screws out, drill the holes out and glue some dowels in there just like I did with the upper guard rail. But Ain't nobody got time for that. For a finish I'm using this wax oil mixture and I'm trying to roll this on. Let's see how this goes. So now let's put it back together real quick so we can get this log attached to there somehow. After playing around with it for a little while, I think this is how I'm going to merge it into there. This will be quite some work, I guess. Let's see. So I'm cutting off this piece here first so I get a little closer to the bed. to mark it like get a one or two straight lines in there I think one should be enough like along here and then somehow try to run it through the table saw to get the log through my table saw I made it somewhat flat and screwed a board on the bottom which then rides along the fence So I made several cuts and then now I'm trying to remove the waste. Quite nice wood after all. Let's see how it fits. And 
this is good enough for me. Still need to cut it off at the bottom and need to do something with the top. Not quite sure yet what I will do. So if the finish doesn't make this thing pop like I'm gonna be a little sad. Zwischen Bad Bramstedt und Kaltenkirchen steht ein defektes Fahrzeug. Also wenn ich an den Kriegsteak verbiegt komme, dann renne ich aber kaum in den Reut verbiegt. Anders Ilka Brüggemann. Ilka. You didn't see that. I drilled some corresponding holes to these dowels in the floor so the walls won't be all this weebly wobbly. Oh, and the log is just uh, screwed from the back. Sind hier kein Geschenke? Oh, Jonne, zeig Halina das mal. Was ist das denn, Janne? And that's it. If you're interested, I also have a really shitty video about the build of the bunk bed my son got for his third birthday.